When Stacey Lynn, Southern Plate's fearless leader who took over for our beloved Christy Jordan, first moved to Texas, she fell in love with the people and the food. Barbecues and parties with brisket were one of her favorite things, so I wanted to whip up a brisket recipe in her honor today. Here's to you, Stacey Lynn. Now this beef brisket recipe has some incredible flavors that will get your family's mouth a water in. And you certainly could make it on the grill as well, but today we are making it in the oven. So buckle up and enjoy this brisket recipe. Now the recipe ingredients are one fresh beef brisket, about four to five pounds, two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce. Ugh, there's that word again. Worcestershire, nope, Worcestershire. Yep, there we go. Okay, two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon onion salt, one tablespoon liquid smoke. Now I use collagen, but you can use whatever you like. Two teaspoons salt, two teaspoons of pepper, and a dash of hot pepper sauce. Now let's talk about the sauce. Now some people say they don't need the sauce, and that's just fine with me, but I love this sauce. So I wanted to show you how to make it just in case you want even more flavor. Now we'll need a half a cup of ketchup, three tablespoons brown sugar, one tablespoon lemon juice, one tablespoon soy sauce, now I use gluten-free tamari sauce here, one teaspoon ground mustard, three drops hot pepper sauce, that's optional, and a dash of ground nutmeg. Now we're gonna place the brisket fat side down in a 13 by nine inch baking dish. Now in a small bowl, mix the Worcestershire and soy sauce, onion salt, liquid smoke, salt, pepper, and hot pepper sauce, then pour that over the brisket. Then turn the brisket fat side up and refrigerate covered overnight. Now the next day, preheat the oven to 300 degrees and remove the brisket from the fridge. Now I'm gonna cook it in one of my cast iron pots here. Now you wanna bake it covered for four hours. Now in a small bowl, combine the sauce ingredients. Now spread that over the fat side up of the brisket. Now bake that uncovered for 15 to 30 minutes longer or until tender, just how you like it. Now cut at a diagonal like this across the grain into thin slices. Now honestly, it's so tender it really pulls apart, so it's hard to get slices, but it all tastes the same. Now this, my friends, is some beautiful beef brisket baked in the oven, and I know Stacy Lynn is smiling about seeing this right now. Now, one note about brisket is it can be expensive, and I tend to make it only for special occasions. But why have prices skyrocketed in the last five years? Well, weather issues contribute, but honestly, it's supply and demand, y'all. Word has gotten out about Southerners' amazing barbecue brisket, so the more widespread it gets across the country, the more expensive it is. But keep your eye on it at your local grocery because prices may be lower away from the traditional holidays when everybody wants to barbecue. So where do you get your brisket? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube and subscribe to our newsletter at southernplate.com. And thanks for being a part of the Southern Plate family. There will always be a place for you at our table. See y'all next time.